Welcome to Inside PS Vita, an inside look at the future of portable gaming. Coming up in this episode, we take a look at augmented reality. You can actually change what you're seeing in the real world and you look through the place of Vita. You see, you don't see your desk, you see something different. So, what exactly is augmented reality? PlayStation Vita has two cameras, one on the front and one on the rear. And the one we, on the rear, um, you can use obviously for photographs and video, but one of the cool things you can do in games is you can do augmented reality, which is applying 3D graphics to the world you're seeing through the camera. You look through the device and seamlessly you just see the world, but you see this new world layered on top. There's a kind of magic there with augmented reality. And it's something what we're really using with something like Reality Fighter. We are trying to kind of create the world between the real world versus the kind of virtual world. So as an example, if you want to play, uh, look at the characters in close proximity, we allow you to do that by using a single AR card so you can really zoom in to the characters. But if you're out and about in somewhere interesting, like uh, maybe go on a skyscraper, you can actually project your fighters from top of a skyscraper onto the ground level. Now, the character size will be scaled up accordingly. So if you do, the higher up the building you go, the bigger character gets. So the end result is that you could have a giant Godzilla-sized character fighting on top of a skyscraper. So it's really, really exciting. For me, I think augmented reality, it, it's made for portable devices. You look through the device and the augmented reality is layered on the world. And there's, there's a kind of magic with that, where you're seeing this world, but this, this slightly distorted world. Maybe you, you're looking down your street and then you've got this dinosaur stomping down your street. Or maybe it's, it's an invisible running around on your sofa or, or an iPad running on the living room floor. And those kind of things can be put into the world and in a really natural way where it doesn't, doesn't feel stuck on. And you can create some fantastic experiences with that. With Wipeout, we've got this whole sort of unlock system. So as you progress through the game, you get to unlock different types of ships. There's uh, sort of speed ships, um, weapon ships as well. So more strength, more uh, versatile ships to steer around the tracks. And we also um, offer an AR mode where you actually view the ships that you've unlocked. So you can have them out on the coffee table in front of you and you'll see it there floating away. And we also uh, use the accelerometers then to actually zoom in and you can get to see it there right in front of you. And also trigger off the different buttons as well so it will like, you know, lift its air brakes or fire a weapon. So Reality Fighters now support both the traditional uh, AR marker method as well as uh, markerless based technology. This is industry first uh, uh, on this genre. So what basically it means is we don't have the need to actually use uh, AR markers at all for this game. And the calculations of actually placing and projecting your characters onto the real world is all based on uh, the AR technology and using the gyro sensors. So it's quite exciting. When you look through the PlayStation Vita, you don't see a desk. You see what the, what's being created through augmented reality. So it might be a garden, you know, maybe a swimming pool with, with the creatures swimming around in it. It could be anything. The beauty about augmented reality is that you could have, for instance, two fighters on your coffee table or in your living room. Putting that augmented reality into the real world and viewing it through the device, that really helps the believability, which is something we always strive for. This is the power of Vita allowing us and, and our gamers to get closer to, to the game experience and see, see more. Um, than we could do on any previous console.
Don't miss the next edition when we take a look at social connectivity only on Inside PS Vita. The social network features of PlayStation Vita are, are one of the things that I think is going to set the whole console apart. Thanks for watching. See you next time.